What's up guys? Hope you're all having a great day. Right back where we left off with the same world, the same objects, and today we are going to be adding a chair that you can sit down on. And obviously you can apply this to a bed or, you know, a stick, I don't know, whatever you want. Make any object sitable. So what we're going to do here is, first things first, we're going to need another seat. So let's go ahead and copy this cube again. Come over here. We're going to go to where it has a script, delete that. And there we go. Let's go ahead and resize this a little bit. All right, there we go, very weird little seat. So what we're gonna do here is add a component, VRC station, and just leave that be for now. We're gonna go ahead and rename this to our seat. And next thing's next, we need to go down here to our VR chat examples. Find the VRC chair. Hit Control D on the station graph, which is our Udon script we're going to be copying. And we can just take that over to where our other scripts were, and that will be fine. Next thing we need to do is go back to our seat, right click it, create empty twice. We're going to name this one Enter. And this one exit. We are then going to assign it to the VRC station script like this, dragging it and dropping it. So let's go back to these for a second. In the enter one is where our person will physically be sitting when this happens. So let's just say, I don't know, right there. And the exit is when they get off the chair where they will be. So let's say they get go forward a little bit. All right. Now let's add our station graph script to the program source for the Udon behavior script. And we have our enter and exit. So let's go ahead and give it a shot and see what it looks like when we sit down on this. You will need to adjust those enter and exit positions for whatever seat you're making. Um, and just kind of see how your characters or characters of various sizes sit on that object. Okay, here we are. This is our seat. And we're sitting. And you can see it's a bit too long, so we'd want to bring that enter value forward a bit. But as far as the butt position, it looks about good. So if we hit W to stand up, yep, it put us a few meters forward, or about a meter forward. Looks good. So that's how you make an object sittable. And you can do that with any object you'd like to. That's it for the video today. If you guys followed it step by step and it worked for you, let me know below and leave a like if it did. If it didn't, let me know what's going on. Let's see if I can help you out. Um, yeah, stay tuned for more. I'll be posting various more videos. Maybe we'll make something more complicated soon, like uh, start combining some of these things and make a an elevator or something like that that has multiple states that goes to different floors or... I'm not sure. We'll see. I'll come up with something.